one of Dan Harding, editor-in-chief of Power Accordion, now for magazine. It's hot in there, about 1800 degrees. Anyway, we find ourselves today in Indianapolis, Indiana. And you might be asking, what the heck are you guys doing in the heart of the Rust Belt? Well, we're actually getting incredible access at Yamaha Precision Propeller. It's a location here that's been in operation for almost 40 years. We came here to learn about how props, the unsung heroes of marine propulsion, are made. In short, it's a unique combination of skilled hands and muscle and technology and automation. It's a process that includes scraping goop from wax molds, hammering in a particular pitch with the swing of a hammer, but the real excitement, where the process really heats up, is in the foundry, a facility with furnaces that reaches scorching 1800 degrees and where molten metal is poured with intense care. Fire and metal. Prop production has changed a lot over the decades, as many of their lifelong employees will attest to, but those elements and the drive for the perfect finished product remain constant. It may seem strange to have such an important manufacturing process in Indianapolis, but when you learn about the love of racing and performance, and the work ethic that's ingrained here in the Rust Belt, it's not that strange after all. At the time of our visit, Yamaha is about to begin a major expansion in size and technological scope of their production, allowing them to more than double their capabilities. Still, at the heart of the process is hardworking people. 38-year veteran Albert Durant said it best, We love what we do. We realize it brings a lot of pleasure to a lot of people. We rev hearts. Stay tuned for the full story from Inside Yamaha at Soundings and Outboard Magazine.